I love gold! Or at least I will love gold as soon as I can get more of it, baby. That's why I'm gonna watch this whole video in its entirety to get both methods that I'm gonna talk about in today's video. Obviously the second method is the best, so be sure to stay to the end of the video. Gold, gold, gold. What is it? Do you lock it? How do you get more of it? These are some questions that I often ask myself. However, they're not relevant. What is relevant is the fact that I love two things, white run, and polls. Feel free while you're at it to comment down below the best way that you know how to get septums in Skyrim, baby. I want to know how you get gold. Anyway, I'm done being silly. Let's get into the video with method number one. Be sure to stay until method number two because it's better. <laughs> All right, and now that we're into the guy, we're gonna need a couple things. Like watching Senpai Jake's last video on how to level up speech to 100. Now I'm gonna go through and grab a whole bunch of these here. Grab all the way up to Master Trader. Now you don't have to have this, but it will make our lives quite a bit easier. So now we can come down here and see one of the merchants tables. Let's see if Arcadius is open. Nowhere's open today. Everybody wants to stifle me. Okay, so let's go here. What do you got for sale? You can see she's got a little bit more gold. Now, I don't understand. How do we get it to where they have like 10,000? I know that's possible. Okay, so that actually is a different way to do this. Now, I'm gonna give a shout out to this guy because uh, I didn't know how to do this until I looked up his guide. He does Skyrim content or he did Skyrim content. I don't think he makes videos anymore. What a shame. But but he actually showed me how to do this, so thank goodness for him. This is how to level up the Riverwood so Trader. So once you have this skill right here, not this one, not this one, not this one, but this one, Investor. So we're gonna go in here. I would like to make an investment in your business. Excellent, Dude, I don't know, man. I don't know if this isn't working. We're gonna do the guide with this though. So pretty simple. Uh, that's how you get a guy's level or a guy's uh, amount of gold up anyways. So we can use that for a bunch of different places. All right. So I guess dadgummit. No way. <laughs> You're kidding me. Why don't we just use the amazing bow that we made literally like two videos ago? Where you at, bub? <laughs> I'm in danger. There you are. Dude, you're dead. I killed him so fast that he couldn't die. Literally. Go watch that video. I'll take that and we will go up here. We're trying to head to the Silas Pit, which I guess is like right here. We'll move it right there. We'll go to Sarthal. We're looking for a cave icon. I think this is actually it back here. So I'm actually going to go this direction. But I've been doing some research on some different gold gods and I have found a couple of people who do this god here that I'm going to show you right now. I've never ever done it. And I didn't know about it until I started doing research for this video. So hopefully it's going to work here in the anniversary edition of Skyrim. All right. So we are going to come up here. This is probably easier with a horse, then we can come up here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, here it is. Yes, this is it. So this is the little plinth or the little uh, monument to this guy. And there's going to be a couple of skeletons. Kill this guy right there. Boom. Anyway, we're going to come over here to the skeleton. And you're going to see this right here. You're just going to exit out. Yes, it works. It works. It literally works. And you just do this over and over again. And as you can see, as I exit out, it just keeps making more of the doors of oblivion so i'm gonna do this a few times and then we'll see where we're going with this and like i said earlier the more and more um, places you invest in the less and less you're gonna have to re do resets for this but we'll do uh, 29 um and i'm actually gonna save here just to test something i'm gonna take all of them yeah okay and it's glitched it's permanently glitched so you can in fact take all four of these all of them nothing left in his inventory and every time you open it it will be just like that now let's go on ahead and come down here to the riverwood trader you're kidding me where's the enemy okay i can i can in fact fast travel now so let's go back down to the riverwood trader and let me know if you guys are actually able to yeah. invest in his shop and get him to ten thousand gold because i was not able to where is he dude where is my guy where's lucan valerius what the heck has happened to my game reload maybe i don't know i really don't have any idea here lucan valerius lucan severius severius lucan okay i guess we're just not gonna go to lucan i guess i invest and he takes my money and runs thank you bellathor bellathor is hardly ever open all right here we go buddy what you got for sale bro i don't have them editor help me out you take the book from the guy like i showed you how to do you sell the book to a willing vendor and that's the first method the second method is using any glitch chest that you can possibly find 
in Skyrim. Now we've been using the Sky or the chest under White Run in a lot of videos lately. Now we're gonna use the Dawnstar chest instead because we ain't used it in a while. We ain't we ain't explained it in a while. We haven't exploited it in a while. While the one under White Run is in fact faster, this one has more benefit to it uh, in terms of the items that you can get out of it, not so much the gold. So this one is going to offer you 750 gold, while the White Run chest is going to offer you around 1100. Once again, depending on actually, I think it will be more now that we have our speech leveled up. Gold 750, no, I guess. Uh, but you could take things like this and really sell a whole bunch of the enchanted stuff. Now you're at thinking, Jake, 750 gold. That's a lot, but it's not enough. So how do we restock this? So now we're gonna have to do some more waiting. You know, it's my favorite game. We can do it in one hour intervals or one day intervals and literally on the very first i don't even know how to prove that because you guys kind of just have to trust me but that was the very first hour and they're here and we really only need akari so let's talk to her what you got for sale girly and you'll see 1750 but if we come over here all right well wow, that's actually really 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 solid okay let's go down here and you'll see it's up to a thousand kind of an inconsistent uh number there but we can run right back here and now we're back here let's go on ahead grab our weapon smack her with it reload and you'll see her gold will go back to normal and we can run her out back and grab the gold let me know in the comment section below what your favorite way to get gold is and if you want to absolutely break the game and hit dragons as hard as i hit that dragon earlier and have a bow that'll kill anything in one shot watch this video right here thank you all so much for watching thank you all so much for the support lately on the channel don't forget to read your bibles don't forget to pray very important because of the time period that we're in here it's very important that you put all your trust and faith in jesus christ thank you all so much go to on the bottom of the video and read the verse of the video but i'll get out of your way i'll stop rambling thank you all so much once again but above all else have a blessed day and thank you for your time peace out